Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. So you guys can see here, this is my newest creation. This is the Sam I've been talking about that I've been working on for a couple weeks now, probably close to a month. Um, I have, it's taken me a lot longer to get him done because of, um, like I explained, I was like renovating some places um, in, my, uh, in my place, uh, both my room and my kids' room. So I finally got him done. I finished rooting his hair yesterday and then I sealed the inside of his head yesterday and he was out left to dry. Um, I put like a fan to speed things up so I can get him ready for um, the next day and be born. So this is little Sam. I'm really, really happy how he turned out. He's very cute. I haven't put up his uh, photos yet, but I did do... Um, his photos I just haven't posted it on Facebook probably gonna be doing that right after this video so it's just a quick details video um, I'm hoping to put out another video today because I have a couple things I wanted to unbox in front of the camera um, I'm just playing catch-up now so yeah so this is Sam he is spoken for he is a custom he was actually one of my last customs that I had. I do, however, have another custom um, happening uh, in a couple of weeks. I'll probably be starting that baby. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna be speaking too much. I'm gonna just get right into it. So um, I love his little pacifier. It's so cute, it's quite big, but it just looks so cute on him. That's his little binky. Um, so, huh, sorry, I just hear some banging <laughs> and I'm just, what the heck? Um, probably somebody else working, neighbors or something. So it's going to be weird because I want to make sure that I can't see because it's facing the other way, but I hope you guys can see, um, all his details. So this is his feet. I made it a lot more purpley on this baby. So it's kind of pink, but more in the purplish, uh, kind. So that's his feet, his little nails. I hope you guys can see that. And then he's, here's his hands. It's a lot harder than I thought. His little hands. And that's, I don't know if you guys can see that through camera, but you can see like his little mottling. He has very soft textured skin. I didn't go overboard with this little one. And then here's his little face. So he has very beautiful rooted uh, blonde hair. His hair is, um, it's not white blonde. It is a lighter blonde, but I would consider it more like a honey blonde. It's very difficult when it comes to um, blondes with mohair because a lot of them are mostly like a white blonde like a platinum so um i really like how this one came out because mo the mommy didn't want him to be too like white blondish more like a honey blonde so i think that was a perfect color um his hair's getting messy that's what happens okay gotta brush his little hair in the back i did also um Um, when I root my babies, I normally like to outline my baby's hairs, like the head of the baby, like it's like a map. So um, you can see it's almost like I drew, like I painted hair on the bottom of the scalp. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I normally do that. I normally use a white pencil, a Prisma pencil. Sometimes I'll use a, a brown as well. Sometimes I will actually also paint the hair underneath and then start rooting sometimes just an outline. So um, if you see a little bit of lines underneath the hair, that will wash out eventually. So the more you want, like you brush it with um, kid mohair, like the kid mo the tangler wash stuff, it comes right off, but um, you have to do it often to remove it. But it's just part of the Prisma uh, mapping. So that completely comes off. I try to remove most of it, but it's, Still a little bit on the head, but it kind of just looks like I painted the hair on the bottom. But it does come off. It's just a pencil. 
that I used to um, map the baby's head. Um, I think he turned out super sweet. He also has spit bubbles. I don't know if you guys can see that. I gave him spit bubbles. He's got adorable ears. He's got capillaries in his ears. On his um, eyelids. I also glossed his eyelids a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, to give it that like uh, thin skin look. And I uh, glossed in the corners of the mouth, inside the mouth, um, inside the nose, and in the corners of the no of oh my gosh, the corner of the eyes, and it's got almost kind of tears as well. I also gave the baby some baby Lanugo as well. Oh, and if you're wondering what type of hair I used for uh, rooting, it's Slumberland mohair um, from Canada, and it's kid mohair. That's why it's so fine. So, um, my favorite type of hair to use, kid mole hair or alpaca is the two types of hairs that I love using on my babies because it's super fine. It looks very realistic. And it's what mommy wanted. She wanted a very fine look on her baby. So I hope you love your baby. I also added some dry skin. I don't know if I told, I said anything. I added dry skin to the baby, a little heel prick, everything like that. I think he creamed out super sweet. And he's got like more of a peaches and cream look. But I also added a little bit more of um, a little bit extra blush just to brighten him up. And he also has milia. I don't know if you can see. He's got a little bit of milia on his nose. And he's got some milia on his chin as well. Babies will have milia on a lot of places, not just the nose. Um, they'll have it on his nose, on the nose, on the forehead. Um around the eye area, on the face, on the chin. You can put milia anywhere you like. Um, I normally like to put it mostly on the nose, but sometimes I will put some on the chin or around the eye area as well. Gives it more extra realism. So yeah, guys, so I think that's it. I hope you guys love little Sam. Another thing too is I'm taking a break from reborning for a bit. I'm thinking at least taking a week to two weeks off. So I will not be active with reborning for a little while. I have a lot to do here and it took me so long to try and get things done around the place and trying to get this baby done to go home to mommy. So it was really hectic and overwhelming. So I'm going to be taking a, a bit of time off so I can get most things done around here. And then once that is complete, I can get back in and jump and start right away. I have two babies that I'm going to be working on after my break. So I'm really, really excited to uh, start those dolls. Um, but for now, this is my last baby for a bit. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys like seeing my work come to life, but um, I'm going to be a little inactive on my uh, nursery page, Patty's Reborn Nursery. And on Patty's Arborn Creations as well. So if you guys don't see me there, that's why I took two weeks off. I will also be uh, updating that on my nursery page as well. So that way you guys know um, why you haven't been seeing any work in progress pictures. Because I'm pretty good at uh, keeping up with my work in progress pictures. Oh, and while I've been just yapping away, I forgot to tell you guys um, the weight of this baby and everything like that. So this is goes home with the mom. So it goes home with um, the thank you card, some of my um, personal business cards, um, a instruction sheet, of course the baby COA, right? Unless the baby doesn't have one. All the babies I send home obviously comes with their birth certificates because these are authentic kits. I only buy authentic guys, I have to remind you that. Um, so this is the second edition Sam. So the first edition Sam is sold out. That's the baby that I have in my collection. He's sold out. I did paint two first edition Sams. This is my third Sam that I've painted and he is a second edition um, Sam. So as you can see, it's a little bit different. The COA, the first edition Sam had like a blue background or a greenish background. Um, the second edition has like a black background. Um, I think the, the back though is almost the same so there's that and um birth certificate of course that i created with every of my babies so again 
by, by me, Patty's Arbor Nursery. The date is May 12, 2021, today at 1 o'clock p.m. He, was, uh, he weighs 4 pounds and 13 ounces, and he is 19 inches long. He's a perfect, perfect um, length, perfect newborn length. So yeah, guys, so that is baby Sam. Again, he is not available for adoption. He has a mummy. He's going home to his mummy probably tomorrow. I'll probably be doing a, if I have time, I'll probably be doing a box closing tonight. I want to try and get him, um, I want to try and get him to the post office by either tomorrow or Friday. Friday seems more realistic to me because um, Thursday is going to be kind of, kind of busy. But most likely Friday, he will be leaving the nursery and he will be heading home to his mom. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys later. All right, guys. Bye-bye.